hey, do you want me to do you some coffee? Do me some coffee? What do you mean? Have you ever had um, people say do and make uh, interchangeably? That happens sometimes because do and make can be confusing. They're often confused because their meanings are really similar, but they're used differently. My name is Sarah and I'm with TalkToCanada.com. Today we're going to talk about the difference between do and make and how we use do and make. Um, so do, we'll start with do because there's a lot to do with do. <laughs> so do um, for activities is a verb, do, to express daily activities or jobs. Notice that all these um, activities or jobs uh, produce no physical object because do means to take action or complete a job or a task here. So we'll talk about a few of them. Um, do homework, do housework, do the ironing, do the dishes, do a job, do the groceries. So these are some, um, I guess some activities or jobs that we use do with. Um, because, you know, when you put it in a sentence, I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to do the groceries means I'm going to get the groceries. It's more towards an activity. Now, sometimes do can also be used for general ideas. So we use the verb do when speaking about things in general. In other words, when we do not exactly name an activity. So this form is often used with words like something, uh, nothing, everything, anything. Um, so some examples of those are, I'm not doing anything at the time. Uh, he does everything for his wife. Oh, she's lucky. I want someone to do everything for me. Anyway, those are, so we had do for activities. Don't get confused. Do for the grocery, uh, do for the groceries. I'll do the groceries. Do for general ideas. And then we have some important expressions that we use with do. Um, these are standard collocations of verb plus noun combinations that are used in English. So for example, to do one's best means to work really hard and put a lot of effort into what you're doing. To do good, you know, you did good means you did a good job. To do harm onto someone means you are being very mean to someone else um, and trying to hurt them. To do a favor, that means to, uh, you know, do a service for somebody without taking anything in return. That's a favor. We do a lot of favors for our friends. Uh, to do business, you know, hello, it was nice doing business with you, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. Um, to do up your jacket actually means to zip up your jacket. So same meaning. Um, or button it up. Uh, well done. Well done, guys. You guys got do perfectly. You're getting all the answers correct. Um, overdone, when you work too hard on something and it's overdone. So for example, if I put one kilo of makeup on before getting on camera, then my makeup is overdone and I might look like a clown but I don't, <laughs> um, and I don't have one kilo, of course, that's why. Anyhow, uh, and then there's underdone. Underdone is when you don't put, I guess, a lot of effort into something. So your paper can be underdone. If you're writing a paper and it's three sentences, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's not a good sign. That's underdone. Um, so activities for general ideas and then these are important expressions they not they may not make a whole bunch of sense sometimes but we do use them so keep them in mind all right now to make so we use make for um to express an activity that creates something that you can touch uh make means to create uh to produce to bake build construct cook manufacture right so usually when you use make it's to actually make something that's tangible so to make food okay so that means you're going to cook food to make a cup of coffee or tea 
So usually when your friend comes over, you say, do you want a cup of coffee or tea? I'll make you some. To make a mess, okay? Uh, to make room for something, you know? Uh, can you please make some room for me? I really need a ride. And you're the only one with a car. Happens all the time in college. All right, so we have also some important expressions with make. Um, there are a number of standard expressions that take the verb make. Um, in a number of cases, the verb do seems more appropriate, um, but these are also standard collocations of the verb and then noun combinations that are also used in English. Um, so an example of standard, or not standard, but important expressions with make, to make plans, so um, usually people make plans in the weekend um, and that's just to, you know, have something, uh, I guess, scheduled to do with your friends or family or whoever uh, to make an exception. Okay, so maybe you go to class late and your teacher says, you, Jake, usually I send my students to the office when they're late, but I'll make an exception this time. I'll let you st sit into my class. I won't send you down to the office. All right, so making an exception. Um, make an appointment. Hello, doctor, I'm sick, please help me. Okay, uh, making a decision. So that's when you have to think really hard. Make a decision, decide on something, make up your mind. Oh, make up your mind. <laughs> I just said that. Okay, so make up your mind is, you know, maybe you are choosing between two different things. Um, you don't know if you should go to the cinema or you want to go and have some sushi with your friends. So your friend might say, come on, man, make up your mind. You're killing us. Let's go. Like, hurry up and make a decision. Um, to make money. Everyone likes to make money. Uh, so I bet you know what that means. <laughs> uh, to make a choice. So, you know, I've made my choice. I want to move to Italy or whatever. Um, and to make a phone call or a telephone call. Um, so I bet you know what that means because everyone has a phone now. Uh, making a phone call is very popular. So these are some ways that we use do and make. Um, they may be confusing because their meanings are very similar, but keep in mind that make is more for creating things, you know, or baking or building or constructing, and do is used more with activities. I hope this lesson was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Again, it's Sarah with TalkToCanada.com, and uh, tune in to all my videos.